I didn't realize how much my fiddle leaf fig had grown until I saw this memory pop up on my phone and compared these two clips. What's even more impressive about this growth is that I have propagated both stems in between these two clips. The mother plant has thrived after the chop and both of these cuttings are now propagating. The first cutting I took is now planted in soil and pushing out new leaves. The second cutting I took is also rooting well, but I'm keeping her hydro a little longer. Let's go through my tips for successfully propagating a fiddle leaf fig and some general ficus lyrata care. For a successful propagation, you want to use sharp and clean shears and take the cutting close to a node. A good spot is just above a leaf or where you see these little bumps and ridges on the stem. For woody plants such as the ficus, I take my cutting on an angle instead of straight across. I have found this has helped to promote branching. If there's one thing you take away from this video, let it be this. Please let your cutting dry out overnight before you put it in water. This helps to protect the stem from rot. I have found that the first roots take a few weeks to show, but then once they do, they grow fairly quickly. I recommend keeping the cutting in a warm and humid spot for optimum growth. You can transfer your cutting to soil once the roots are over 2 inches long and you have first and secondary roots. Or you can do what I did and leave it longer to propagate if you're enjoying watching the roots grow. Keep in mind you may not have any new leaves whilst it's in hydro. Now let's check in on the mother plant. Since cutting her she has really branched out and instead of being a single leader stem she now has 7 new growth points. Each of these small growths is going to turn into a branch, not just a leaf. It's a good reminder that even if your first propagation fails, the mother plant is still going to love you and bush out because of it. Now, let's go through all my care tips for the fiddle leaf fig. First up, watering. I give my plants a good soak every two to three weeks, depending on the season. They do like to dry out fully in between watering. And with most fiddle leaf figs, you can tell when they're thirsty because the leaves will start to droop. I alternate between top watering and bottom watering. When bottom watering, I like to leave them in a tub for a few hours so they can absorb as much water as they need. Across the warmer seasons, I'll also add some fertilizer to the water as well. I alternate between a liquid NPK fertilizer and Epsom salts. Being a tropical plant, they do like higher humidity and you can achieve this by putting it in a steamy spot in your house like the bathroom, only if you have natural light of course, or a humidifier works well too. Now these big beautiful leaves do tend to collect dust. If it hasn't been raining, I will either shower my plants down or wipe them with neem oil and a glove. Showering your plants often doesn't soak the soil because these leaves cover it all so you don't need to worry about over watering. Now despite what people say, the fiddle leaf fig is not a fragile plant. Think of the wind it gets in the wild plus all the animals that land on the leaves. Don't be scared to move them around but do be more careful than I am. The way I try and save it by a leaf always makes me laugh. She is fine though, I promise. I don't recommend throwing your plants around, but you can definitely move them. I have found replicating the wind helps the plant grow stronger. We don't want weak, sad stems in this house. As you can see, I have quite the collection of both the classic ficus lyrata and the bambino. I also have several propagations, and the little weedy one was a rescue. I've been cultivating fiddle leaf figs for over five years now, and I'm yet to lose one. Just like my senior hound, the fiddle leaf is a sun lover, so I recommend putting them in a sunny spot by a window. If you don't get enough natural light, it might be time to add a grow light. If you're still losing leaves, even though you've nailed the watering schedule and sunlight needs, then keep on watching as you may in fact have a pest. Let's go through how to identify the most common problems. Small black dots and discoloration under your leaf is most likely thrips. New leaves with red dots is edema and completely normal. These misshapen leaves are the work of a caterpillar. If you have very dark marks on your leaves, it is most likely root rot. If the spots are more of a rust color, this can be a lack of watering or lack of humidity. Cracked leaves are also a sign of this. Yellow leaves at the base of your plant is just aging out and completely normal. If your new leaves are going yellow though, this can be a lack of nutrients. If you've recently chopped your plant, the first leaf may also be a little misshapen but should be fine after this. Likewise, if your plant has had trauma or fallen over, it may be a little scratched. Once you've identified what the issue is, you can either treat the pests, adjust your watering, or remove the leaves. That's all for today. Make sure you check out my fiddly fig playlist.